Hello. We are in Romilly. Which is in Manchester. Are we in the Peak District yet? Yeah. No, we're actually, we're actually still in Manchester. Okay, so the, we just got off the train that goes to the Peak District, but we're not in the Peak District. Um, where are we going? I was staying in Manchester for a couple of days to see Jen and to visit my boat builder in nearby Liverpool. Whilst I was there, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to stretch my legs alongside the canal. This is Hyde Bank Tunnel, and this is the Peak Forest Canal. We're going to be walking for a couple of miles until we reach a place called Marple. The canal is just under 15 miles long and runs from Ashton under Lyme in Greater Manchester to Boxworth Basin in the Peak District in Derbyshire. At Boxworth, or Bogsworth as it used to be called, the canal used to connect to the Peak Forest Tramway which was used to transport limestone from the nearby quarries onto the canal. According to my local guide, this bridge was once a tunnel that has now had its roof removed. We're just coming up to our first aqueduct. An aqueduct is one of those words that I can never spell properly. It doesn't make sense as a word. No, it should be aqua and then duct, but it's not. Language people, why is aqueduct spelt in the way that it is? Please tell us. Here is Marple Aqueduct, overlooked by the Marple Viaduct, carrying trains between Manchester and Sheffield through the Peak District. The canal looks so narrow here. You think you could almost jump across, but I wouldn't do that. The aqueduct opened in 1800, carrying the canal 90 feet above the River Goit, making it the highest canal aqueduct in England. Did you not get vertigo looking down over the aqueduct? It's a, it's a long way down. Mm, yeah. Ooh. It was designed by Benjamin Outram, who designed lots of canals and tramways, including the tramway at Crich, which is now a vintage tram museum. I featured it in an earlier video. This is pleasant. Oh, that's a nice boat. This is the first lock on the Marple flight. There are 16 locks in total, rising the canal 209 feet over a distance of one mile. It's the only lock flight on the canal. Hello. Hello. Hi. The Peak Forest connects to the Ashton Canal and the Macclesfield. It has one branch line to Whaley Bridge. I love the single lock gates on the narrow canals, they're just so cute. There's a lock. On the lock. Tell them, tell them about the water. You want me to tell them about the water? Tell them about the water. This canal was fed by the Whaley Bridge Reservoir, which is the one a couple of years ago um, during all the storms that nearly the dam nearly burst and they had to bring in all the, the choppers with the bags of sand to try and stop the dam from bursting. And I think they've been suffering from shortages ever since. We've got somewhat of a drought at the moment, so lots of canals have been closed or had their open times reduced to preserve water. This is where we leave the canal, lock number nine. We made our way to Marple Station where we got a train one stop to New Mills Central in the High Peak in Derbyshire. The previous evening I'd taken the train along this line and I saw something so breathtaking that I just had to come back and see it up close. 
This is Tor Vale Mill, and this is the Millennium Walkway. It opened in April 2000, bridging this gorge on the River Goit. It forms part of the Goit Way, a 10 mile walking route, which in turn makes up part of the 225 mile Midshires Way. I might add that to my to-do list. That's the Union Road Bridge. There were actually people practicing rock climbing on the walls there. This is the site of the old Tor Mill. A weir was built across the river to power the mill. Today, water from the weir is used to generate electricity for a community-owned hydroelectric scheme, which powers a local supermarket. This is where we left the river and headed for the train back to Manchester. As we walked through the town, the air was filled with the scent of sherbet. That is because New Mills is home to the Swizzles Confectionery Company's factory, which sits right beside the Peak Forest Canal. And that, in itself, has convinced me to come back here on the new boat. Well, that was pleasant, wasn't it? It was very pleasant. As always, thank you for watching. Plug your channel. I'm Jane on the move. I'm sure Lorna's going to leave me a link below. I do transport stuff. It's fun. Go watch it.